time for another story. This time it's a story of five blind men and the elephant. So these blind men, this is from an old Indian folklore, so to speak. Uh, five men, blind men, were, were uh, moved on to an elephant. They went close to an elephant, like the one you see behind me. Um, and they touched different parts of the elephant and tried to figure out what, is, what it was. One of them went and touched the trunk and said, whoa, this looks like a fat, thick snake. The other one held on to the foot and said, oh, this looks like a pillar. Uh, the other one went behind the, the elephant and, and pulled on the tail and said, wow, this looks like a rope. The last one went on top of the elephant and said, and touched its ears and said, wow, this looks like a fan. They all came together later and started quarreling amongst each other saying, no, this is a fan, this is a rope, this is a pillar, uh, this is a snake. None of them really agreed upon this. But then came along a wise man, put them all together and said, look, I know you guys have been touching different parts of this elephant, but it's actually an elephant. It's a big animal called an elephant. So lots of times we look at smaller portions, smaller solutions, smaller ideas, and we think this is what will solve it. Whereas something put together, unity actually would do the trick. So that's why we need to sort of put all these ideas together and get a concept out of it. And that's why this story. Thank you.